Live from San Diego, this is the Fox 5 Morning News at 8. Hey, good morning. We are live at Westfield UTC. Two San Diego locals, SDSU grads. They've got this really popular bracelet company, and now they're opening their very first shop here at UTC. We're going to take you inside. All coming up live on Fox 5. A local bracelet company started by two Aztec grads is opening its first brick and mortar store. That's awesome. Heather Lake, live at Westfield UTC with their success story. I love stories cool. like this. This is so cool, I know. So let's go shopping together, why not? Their grand opening is this Saturday. We're gonna tell you all the details, how you can get inside and be part of this really cool grand opening event. I got some bracelets, I put on some swag. How pretty are these? And I love too that they're super affordable. We're gonna talk about that and talk about some of their first time shoppers that are coming in here because everyone from like my three year old little daughter to you know, if you're maybe an 85 year old grandmother, you wanna come in here and have a good time with your whole family, do some shopping, get back to real life, maybe stop the online shopping for a half a second. Not too long, you know, do it all, whatever. Um, Griff and Paul, this is super fun. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, both of you SDSU grads. And basically you made these bracelets all because of a trip, um, to a surf trip, right? So so tell me a little bit about it, Paul, and kind of how you guys came up with these bracelets because it seems super simple and then people love them. Yeah, we graduated from San Diego State in 2010, um, decided let's go down to Costa Rica, we'll surf, we'll drink some beers, we'll kind of escape before we come back, have to get real jobs. You know, I majored in finance, Griff was going to go get a marketing job. Um, and our last week when we were in Costa Rica, we met these two guys who were hanging out on the beach. They were selling these simple string bracelets to every tourist that walked by and kind of hit us like, what if we buy these bracelets, we bring them back and we start selling to people we're friends with at San Diego State and see if we could help um, provide more money and jobs to these artisans on the beach. So we bought, brought back a, a string, you know, bag of string bracelets, 400 bracelets, and within two weeks we had sold all the bracelets, decided to call them Pura Vida bracelets. That's like the saying down in Costa Rica. It's mm -hmm. almost like Aloha in Hawaii. Um, and, you know, started a business. These are the original ones that we're looking at right here. Seems super simple. For anyone who loves the friendship bracelet, this is like the perfect stackable, too, which everyone's doing right now. I went over to the East Coast, and seriously, every single one of my nieces had like up almost up to their elbows of these bracelets. And I was like, what is going on here? What are these bracelets? You guys have gone from, though, you know, a startup company in La Jolla to this crazy kind of worldwide company. Talk about the expansion. Griffin and what you guys have done in like the past five years. Yeah, so in the beginning for the first for the first five years we just made string bracelets and then in 2015 we came out with the silver wavering and since then the jewelry has exploded. Um, it's about half of our business now and over the past couple months we released clothing, tees, hoodies, backpacks, bucket hats, dad hats, um, and all these different apparel items that we really think that resemble the Pure Vita lifestyle. Okay, go through that. Hold on. What's a dad hat versus a bucket hat? I'm, I'm all about the bucket hat, but I'm also like, ooh, I don't know if I can get back into this. That's like what I wore in the 90s. No, here, can yeah. we check it out? Okay, can we check it out? Um, also, can you tell me about the grand opening? Because I want everyone to come out and see what you guys are doing. You're doing like taking over the lawn boho style thing. Yeah, so the grand opening um, is going to be on Saturday from 12 to 4. Um, we're going to take over the whole outside of our retail store. We're creating this like bohemian experience. There's going to be um, food, drinks, snacks. There's going to be all of our influencers. We're flying them out from all across the U.S. to be here to meet the fans in person. Um, and the first people that come here are going to get a special surprise. So definitely come early. But when you say influencers, they're not just like the regular Instagrammer. They're, these are like actors and actresses who love your brand and, and wear them even sometimes on their shows. Exactly. Yeah. We just did a big campaign with Madison Bailey. Um, she's the one of the star characters in Outer Banks season one and two. Um, also, we, we just did a big collaboration with Disney as well. Um, so we're doing a lot of fun things with big brands um, and, and big influencers too. I know, my little girl loves the Minnie Mouse collaboration. We'll show that in the next hour. So, okay, hold on. What's the dad hat? Okay, so can you the this? dad hat's right here. Okay, just can, a, right. can a girl, girls can wear a dad hat, right? Yeah, okay. it's not just for dads. Why do I not know this verbiage? I feel like I'm like turned myself into like, an, okay, and then I here, aged myself. We have a little okay. bucket hat, as you can oh. see. This is a new product as well. And we're talking to, okay, the bucket hats are in. Are the bucket hats okay? Shall I roll? I need, I need some in on these. Give me one of these. I did, Let's I, see. Well, we already approved I'm like your all yoga about pants. Just I didn't today. even know what a bucket hat was. Is that like a dad hat? What no. is a bucket you know what That's a bucket, bucket hat. hat is? Look at that. Oh, that's clean. Huh? That's a beach hat. Do the, do the guys wear bucket hats? Or <laughs> I'm looking like in the mirror right guys here. Guys wear bucket hats? <laughs> Can guys wear bucket hats? I don't know, I never wore put on a bucket hat. hat. I want to see what the bucket hat looks like. Here, look. Ooh, this one's cute. Yeah. Here, put on this yeah, one. That's very one. cute. I feel like Gilligan. I feel like Gilligan. <laughs> 
You know, I got a couple days. Gen Z doesn't uh, even know who Gilligan is. A little beach time coming Gen up. Gen Z doesn't know who Gilligan is, so they can wear a bucket hat. Do you wear that at a beach, like on vacation? No. Yes, it's a vacation hat. Exactly. A vacation hat. That's like the first time I've ever And I am permanently on vacation. Very pastel y, like walking around South Beach, you know what I mean? With the little bucket hat, the pastel color? Yes. Yeah, well, I could dig it. I could wear that. You think I could pull that off? Okay. <laughs> I'll bring him back to you. Okay, Heather, thank you. <laughs>